Do you know what I hate? Posing for thumbnails. I've just been trying to get a thumbnail that represented a haul without having to try to grapple with holding everything. And I've actually given myself a headache. The budget beauty month every september we go back to the channel's roots and do budget beauty specific for an entire month and so i wanted to buy some things that were a little bit different some new stuff to try i specifically was looking for some foundations to review and i found some really good deals i'll start with what i got from boots because this was a particularly good deal i in fact i actually had to look up the receipt a second ago because i couldn't remember how much i'd spent um so i got two foundations i got the essentially natural foundation um, and I got the Hydra Luminous Foundation, both in calico. I bought these specifically because I love the Stay Perfect Foundation from number seven. And um, I think that part of that, or at least a good portion of it, is because the shade match is so, so good for me. Calico is just exactly my shade. I'm actually wearing the Hydra Luminous one today. There will be a review coming soon. Um, spoiler alert, I'm quite enjoying it. I haven't tried the other one yet. But number seven foundations can be quite expensive. So when I get requests to do them, I'm like... I will, but I, I like to find them when they're on a deal. The deal was save £10 when you spend 20 which was a few weeks ago, so it won't probably be on still now. But it basically meant that I got two, um, how much was this? Two foundations for £15, which was a really good deal. But also, if you spent, uh, or if you bought two or more selected number seven products, you also got this for free. So for however much I just said, £15, I got two foundations and this palette, ooh. This is not a good sign. I feel like this part might be broken. Oh, 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 phew. I just saw, can you see around the edge of that? That it looks like a little bit powdery. Maybe there's a little bit of red, there's a little bit of black. I thought I was gonna open that to an absolute mess, but no, incredibly not. And I'm really feeling these colors because as I said in a previous video, all of the like warm colors have been so popular for so long and I've been so not into it at all. And as soon as we're starting to see cooler tones again. I'm quite enjoying the, the warmer colours. And this, although this is supposed to be a summer palette, is really nice for autumn winter. I think I'm gonna be really into that kind of rust colour on the eye for autumn winter time. So I got all of that 15 pounds, absolute bargain. I know that there was a deal on at Superdrug and I know that it was three for two across all the makeup, but I can't figure out because I've just looked at my receipt and I had five things, which makes no sense at all. So did I miss a deal? I can't imagine that I would have done that. Anyway, it's less transparent on the receipt from Superdrug, but I do know that I received this naturally radiant washcloth for zero dollars. So, you know, I got a free cloth. It's actually very nice, super soft. Right, so very excited about a couple of things that I got from Superdrug. Um, a couple of them I was specific, in fact, most of these I've been looking out for um, and actually wanting for a while. Very little of this was impulse purchases. So the L'Oreal True Match Nude Plumping Tinted Serum. I have wanted to try this since I heard of it. I mean, very exciting. So I got it in very light. I was looking online, the, it was difficult, I think this is gonna be good actually. It was difficult to guess. This is, can you tell? It is very light, although we're heading into kind of autumn winter, so I think it'll be fine. And, okay, that's blended out. And as I could tell, it was very light in coverage. So. The shade range of this is really, really strange. Uh, very unusual. There are a few different shades. And if you look online, they've got, it's more about tone. Tone and obviously depth of colour, but less, like they had, um, let's say in the medium, they had three different races that were a similar depth of colour and a similar tone. But you don't usually see that in a shade selection, I'm guessing this is gonna have little to no coverage. It's just gonna be kind of like slightly perfecting and a little bit of a tint. And I mean, that is what it says, tinted serum. Um, so I got 0.5 to two, very light. I'm gonna be really, really interested to see how this works for um, different skin tones. I'm gonna seek out some reviews from people with darker skin tones, because I'm just wondering whether or not they are trying to make it look like they have a larger shade range than they do if you're with me because they really it did it felt like a stretch but i think the kind of product that it is it could work that way so i'm gonna i'm gonna be really interested to see some reviews 
Um, it says instantly unifies and brightens the appearance of complexion, Na a nude radiant finish, 1% pure hyaluronic acid, plumps the skin with moisture, smoother skin, with dehydration, marks reduced. Excellent news. There will be a review on this soon. Also, I've just noticed I still have a little bit of a mark here. I went to um, the osteopath this morning and I put my face in. It's not really a face hole so much as a breathing hole. So it's this and it really pushes down into my face. And I've still got a little bit there. So that's what that is. It looks a little bit like an eyebrow scar. No, my scar is here. Also, something I've already tried is this Flower Blush Bomb in Nectar. This, I wanted to try this this particular product, not, not necessarily this colour, but yeah, kind of, um, for ages and ages, but it's quite expensive. Flower Beauty is quite expensive, and what I've tried so far, I've been kind of underwhelmed slash disappointed. I'm thinking of revisiting the foundation because so many of you told me you absolutely loved it, and I just hated it, <laughs> and I still got it, and I'm like, mm, maybe this month we'll give it another whirl, and I'll like try it for a week or something, and we'll give it a longer go, because so many people love it, and I just couldn't get on with it at all. But, this I really like. It's very, very pigmented. It is um, easy enough to blend, but it, I would say it's a little more pigmented than my other cream blushes. I'm going to be showing you, um, I mean, it, it's got, it packs a real punch. A real punch. That was just a small amount. Um, but it does blend out nicely and it plays well with foundation. So I'm going to show you my... Uh, different cream blushes that I enjoy using and I'm going to give you a little rundown of each of them at some point this month as well. So I finally picked that up because it was slightly cheaper because of the deal. I also got the uh, NYX Sweet Cheeks Soft Cheek Tint Blush Mousse. Now I'm going to be interested to see whether or not this is actually just their lip product repackaged because I think it probably is. Looks very similar. I mean in my mind this is exactly the same product and they have just put different labeling on exactly the same product. I take it back, I thought it was gonna be like this. This is different and this comes out of one of these. However, I definitely have a lip product that's similar to this, that's like this. I think maybe it's from L'Oreal. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look to see if I can find it. Anyway, I'm gonna swatch this. Just wanna see what the texture of the product is like. It is very, very similar to their like creamy, velvety lip products. Oh, that was like immediate cream to powder. Oof. Oh, that's nice. That is nothing like what I expected it to be. I just have to see for the sake of argument. I dug this out of my wardrobe. I've got baskets of makeup that I haven't yet sorted out. Right, so, 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 so. Okay, so it's still not exactly the same thing. Sometimes, sometimes. This is the L'Oreal Matte Lip Paint. That blends exactly the same way. It goes cream to powder immediately. That was only a tiny, tiny amount of product that I used. And then I've got the Soft Matte Lip Cream from NYX. Okay, that is not quite as powdery, but again, can be blended. So it's closer to the, to the L'Oreal one, plus the matte lip creams are all a little bit different. But I do feel like the Sweet Cheeks is basically just a repurposed matte lip cream instead of it being like a brand new thing. It does feel like they've taken something they were already creating and found a new way to market it. I say that purely because if you already have something from NYX or something like these products in that shade, you might not need the Sweet Cheeks as well. So I asked recently about uh, brow pencils because I am kind of in two minds at the moment whether or not I want to redo my microblading because it fades very quickly on me. I think because I'm using a lot of active ingredients in my skincare, especially now I'm using things for pigmentation around my forehead and things like that. It's not cheap and I just don't think it's going to last very well on me as long as I'm using those products. So I'm kind of, part of me is thinking, let it fade and just see what happens. And I might go back to purchasing the, um, what was it called? It's like a serum. They did a lash one and they did a brow one and it was fantastic. I want to say it's not Wonder Brow. Rapid Brow. 
Rapid Brow was really, really effective, but as soon as I stopped using it, it stopped working. So you had to use it all of the time. It was really effective. It grew brows where I had not had brows in years and years. So I'm considering getting some Rapid Brow, just seeing what I can do in terms of brow growth and then having them tinted and do all of the stuff and see if I can stand to let the microblading fade. We'll see. We'll see. I, I have a feeling not because I really love it. I love just always having arched, polished brows but because they fade so quickly up here in between like I've got the line on the outside but just there they really look a bit naff so I have started penciling them back in again and I wanted your recommendations and quite a few people told me the NYX micro brow pencil was good so I just really like to do this part up here I'm using my viewfinder this is dangerous um, but just this part that has faded the most I just like to fill it in a little bit, especially when I'm wearing like a decent amount of eye makeup. Like now it's not quite so bad, but if I go heavier with my makeup, then it's really obvious that my brows are light. I will also say that my brows are particularly light today because I went over them with my foundation because I was again using my viewfinder as a mirror, which is not ideal. You see, it just it's just a little bit of extra something. What I will say for microblading, even as it fades, is it gives me a template constantly. So I don't very often, like probably once a week, will I pencil in my brows, but it just makes it so much easier. I don't know. Do any of you have microblading? Have you regretted it? Have you let it fade out? Thoughts. Also, the shade is taupe. This is exactly what the kind of thing I was looking for when I was super, super blonde. I used to use Fling from MAC, and it's very, very similar. A dry enough pencil that it's not too dark, just a little bit of something, it's not too warm. Perfect. The last thing I wanted to mention, I didn't get from Boots or Superdrug, I actually got it from Cherries. I did a sponsored um, thing with them on my other channel. I just unboxed some stuff that um, they gave me a voucher for. And I just kind of wanted to get a good cross section of things that you could get from their website. And one of the things that I noticed they had was W7 stuff. And I got this Glow Commotion Shimmer Highlighter Eyeshadow. I've seen this before and never purchased it. Um, and it did come to me the other day. How many kids would understand the locomotion reference. I know locomotion is a word, but I feel like they were going for a Kylie reference. And I don't think, it's not one of those songs, you know, like the Grease Megamix. It's not a song that you hear a lot. It's not often played at parties and things like that. Unlike other cheesy pop. These are the things I think about. Anyway, here it is. I don't know if it's gonna show up. I couldn't get it to show up the other day. But it's actually quite nice. There you go, there you go. Sheen, 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 golden. Dead cheap as well. So we'll be trying that out this month. I think that's it. Now I have already started filming some content, but I think we can throw in some bonus videos. If there's anything specific you wanna see, um, I'll slot it in for you. If I get enough people asking for the same kinds of things, then I'll make sure that it gets done. Anything that doesn't get done this month, we can kind of roll over into October anyway. But if there's any particular thing you would like to see me review, any particular recommendations, like a particular category you would like me to recommend things in, if you want me to go below a certain amount of money, any like makeup bag below this amount of money, that kind of thing. Any requests, welcome. Um, it's gonna be fun. I always enjoy September. September feels like I'm re-energized. The kids have gone back to school. I've suddenly got more time and it feels like bonus time because I've had so much less time over the summer holidays. And September has just always felt like that, like a kind of like a new year because of going back to school, going back. It just, you know, I just, it feels full of life for me. And so I'm really hopeful for this month because I've had quite a low, like low mood summer. I don't know why, um, but I'm, I'm kind of pinning a lot on September, really turning things around. So um, I am excited to create some new stuff and, and switch things up a little bit. So yeah, let me know what you'd like to see. And don't forget, subscribe if you haven't already. Also, I'll be vlogging every single day in September, I've decided, because I haven't got enough on. And I will see you guys there and here in my next one. Bye. <laughs>